good morning today we will study about the selection rules for electronic spectra of transition metal components what are the selection rules to explain the electronic spectra of coordination complexes or transition metal complexes there are two important selection rules spectroscopic selection rules they are laporte orbital orbital selection rule and pin multisubility selection rule let us first see laporte orbital selection rule according to this rule the rule according to this rule transitions involving for example you know before that dd transition is weak you have studied in the previous class dd transition is weak because the color the color of the complex is very low intense it is not colored yesterday we have seen potassium thermonate is intense color because of charge transfer transition here dd transition is permeable okay so what happens is l equal to 2 L equal to 2. Therefore, change in DD transition, there is no change in orbital quantum number. Orbital quantum number. So, transitions involving change in quantum number. Change in quantum number is Laporte allowed. Remember, in this case, there is no transition, electronic transition, in which there is no change in the orbital quantum number. D L equal to two L equal to two. There is no change in the orbital quantum number. Therefore, it is permeable. Okay. Now, for perfect octahedral complex, where there is center of symmetry, again it is permeable. Remember, D D transition is permeable because of perfect octahedral symmetry. Uh, symmetry with the center of symmetry, inversion center. Then it is the Laporte permeable. Okay. Next, now you have a tetrahedral complex, mixed regard complex, for example, octahedral complex, and it is not perfectly octahedral, no center of symmetry, see, then it is allowed, opposite, so same point only. So tetrahedral, uh, those complexes with no center of symmetry are Laporte allowed. Laporte allowed. Okay. Uh, right. Now we will see the reason mixed ligand complex. For example, there are two ligands, uh, different types of ligands in the coordination sphere. Mixed ligand complex. Mixing of, uh, in this case, that there is a mixing of, uh, for example, d orbital in the d orbital and p orbital in the ligand. There will be mixing of b and p orbital because of uh, uh, less symmetry. Because of less symmetry, there is. The complex is perfect symmetry, there will be no mixing of D and B orbital. There will be mixing of B and D orbitals when there is lowest symmetry. That is, um, okay, for example, uh, mixing of D and P orbital, that, that is, D orbital is G symmetry, Gerard orbital. Gerard means center of symmetry. If there is center of symmetry, then G orbital, center of symmetry. For example, if I draw a line from here to here, and here, same point, and you will see the similar, similar, I will get the similar. So, in here, if I draw here and then, sorry, here, and here plus, you will meet with the minus, so no center of symmetry, Ungerod orbitals. So, G2, this is G symmetry, D orbital, G2 U, U symmetry, it is allowed. Okay, so they are inter, it is uh, mixed ligand complexes or uh, they will ask in competitive examination why mixed ligon complexes are uh, colored, intensely colored because of uh, mixing of D and P orbitals, G to U uh, transition. Okay. Now, let us see another uh, another point, another uh, characteristic of uh, the Forte orbital selection group, Magnus Aqua complex, Magnus Extra Aqua, Magnus 2 complex. You know that uh, it is the, it should be colorless because according to this uh, DD transition, according to Laporte, this is uh, permitted. Uh, so it should be colorless. It should be like D10. D10 there is no DD transition. Ring complex, ring two plus complex, cadmium two plus complex. That there is D10. Therefore there is no DD transition. 
involved. Here also there is no DV transistor involved, but still it is not allowed, forbidden. Therefore, but it is fair pink in color. Why? They will ask it. Why? Because it is due to asymmetry stretching vibration. For example, you take the magnus copper, it is a perfect octagonal geometry. Still, there is um, there is a, a transition because uh, because of that it gives pale pink color. Why? You see, it is a perfect octagonal geometry. There are two types of uh, vibration you are studying, stretching vibration, symmetric stretching vibration, symmetric stretching vibration, asymmetric, asymmetric compression, asymmetric. Uh, vibration that due to asymmetric uh, vibration, the center of symmetry, for example, the symmetry is destroyed. The center of symmetry is destroyed, therefore, it will be less symmetry, less symmetry, and the causing mixing of B and uh, causing distorted geometry. So, uh, because of this asymmetric stretching, uh, some of the molecules will be uh, distorted after the geometry. Once it is distorted, so again, we DP mixing. So, uh, it, such transitions are called electronic vibronic coupling transitions. These transitions are allowed, but not very, still it is permitted, but because of um, this uh, contribution, because of this uh, asymmetric stretching vibration contribution, it is pale pink in color. Remember that. Another case is uh, JT, I think, for example, copper. Uh, hexa or copper complex, it is also um, it is also colored uh, because of uh, JT effect. Because of JT effect, John Taylor effect, we have studied previously. You go back and see uh, JT active, JT non active. JT uh, active, JT distortion is due to occurs in D9, D1, D2, D3 is uh, symmetric electronic. So, in D9 or D1, D2, there is asymmetric electron distribution in D orbital. Okay. As a result of this, the complex is tetragonally elongated or tetragonally compressed. Please uh, go back and see EPR spectroscopy, I have discussed, and in uh, long term distortion. So, distorted octagonal geometry. Because of this, uh, D, DP mixing and uh, electronic vibronic coupling. Uh, it is allowed, it is partly allowed, it is partly. Therefore, uh, copper core complex is blue in color. Blue in color, it is observed. Uh, if it is completely, if it is completely not allowed, then it, is, it should be colorless. But it is colored because of JT non color distortion. Okay, so please understand. Uh, let us now see the second spectroscopic group. Okay, this is the one, and the second one is spin selection rule, spin multisimility selection rule. Let us see what what is spin multisimility. For example, ground state, excited state. There are two electrons in the ground state. Therefore, this is plus half, this is minus half. Therefore, the total spin plus half minus half equal to zero. Therefore, the formula used to calculate the spin multisimility is two s plus one. S T equal to zero. Therefore, singlet state, and uh, there is an electronic transition from here to here, and uh, so as a result of the electronic transition, the, there is no change in the spin state. You see, this is plus and this is minus, plus of minus of. Therefore, again singlet state, and here, if you look at here, there is uh, during the electronic transition, there is a change in the spin state. There is a change in the spin state. Therefore, this transition triplet, singlet to triplet. Um, this is plus of plus of therefore one therefore two s plus one is triplet state singlet to singlet is allowed according to spin multisimility selection rule spin selection rule singlet to singlet uh, where the, the, the transitions involving no change in spin state no change in spin state for example singlet to singlet is allowed uh, singlet to triplet there is change in spin multisimility. The transition involving change in spin multiplicity is not allowed according to these uh, spectroscopic selection rules. For example, D2, um, D2 in the case of D2, uh, electronic configuration, uh, there are 1, 2, ground state is F3, C3 excited state, G1, D1, S1, 
This F3 to B3, F3 to B3 is allowed because of the spin multiplicity. There is a conservation in spin multiplicity, whereas triplet to triplet is allowed. Spin allowed, okay. And this is spin permitted because uh, triplet to single, triplet to single is uh, spin permitted. Okay. So we, I forgot to tell here, um, the electronic transitions are higher in energy. During electronic transition, there will be simultaneously vibronic transition, vibrational transition, as well as rotational transition. Why the electronic absorption band is broad? They have asked. Why the electronic absorption band is broad? Because uh, because of um, uh, vibrational transitions and the rotational transitions, they are also taking place. As a result of that. The electronic absorption band is broad. Okay. Why it is broad? Electronic absorption band is broad due to the uh, accompanying vibrational rotational transition. So during electronic transitions, there will be vibrational uh, transitions and vibrational stretching, vibrational uh, mode. Therefore, there will be electronic, electronic, and vibronic coupling. So that is. Uh, that causes JP effect. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, we will see next class. A few more problems on this. Thank you for watching.